rugby season match full of intrigue live on Fox Sports. It's Western Sydney Wanderers and Melbourne Victory from Bankwest Stadium. It's Graham Dorrance who along with the Scottish contingent at uh, Wanderers would be happy that they're not back home at the moment in minus 10. That's what it is back there. Here's Georgievsky one-on-one with Rue. Lee Broxham gets back, shot and just gave it straight back to Dorrance. Georgievsky, top corner, almost. Dorrance just very coolly put it back to Daniel Georgievsky who set his sights in that far corner, just couldn't quite get the curl. Dorrance with it, Broxham just about got enough on it. Natter's there, Shotton's over the back, Gordon gets it back in, still in the air. Lawton can only shovel it out to Dorrance, it's going to come back is it, straight away. Georgievsky got in the way when Dorans wanted to send it there. Here's Mark Nanner. Just wide. That big mop of hair cushioning the ball just wide of that far post. Butterfield. Here's a chance, perhaps. Brimmer. Kurdar. Brimmer can turn. Lex not to. Butterfield. Nice little interchange. Burke and Kurdar can have a go. Palms over. Nice play, really nice play from Victor. One touch movement, good space, good decision. It did take a deflection, and Marcus reacted really well. It's a good save. It is. Now Victory can come back down this left hand side. It's a loose one from Rukan Kurdo, and uh, Troisi shakes off. His defender and his Keanu Bacchus who went near post and did well because he was perhaps thinking it was going to go in one direction only but covered where he had to well. Crocombe does well. The angles across goal were cut down by the recovering defenders. It's Jordan O'Doherty this time. Oh, Bacchus has tried it again, this time downwardly. Not the scorpion flick per se and a bit of a karate kick there. Rudy just dead. He's tried to go the acrobatics. Bernie Abini is out. Is he? Oh, he's just holding his face, so he might be still with us, but it is a penalty. <laughs> Graham Dorrance has given Wanderers the lead. Well, his season is growing. It's the quality of Dorrance for 1 0 from the penalty spot. Sometimes tonight, Harps haven't quite been there for, for victory when they've most needed it. No, not at all. Um, well, say not at all. That's, that's too extreme. They have had some moments. They haven't had nearly enough consistency in their attack. And there was a 10-minute period in the second half when their football was and their territory was dominating. Ben Falami with a shot on target. That's straight into the path of Daniel Margush. But from then until now, Margush has not had to do anything. But it's a good little side of goal. He's been busy since he came on for Lamy. Doherty flicks it on to Abini. Gets it back from Russell. Uses the shimmy to get free and set sail forward. Here's Kwame Yaboa with a second chance. And this time he takes it. Wanderers are going to take all three points at home midweek. This is the business. This is the experience. He sizes it up beautifully. The timing of the pass was perfect. And the finish unerring on this occasion from Kwame Yaboa. But massive credit to Bernie Yabini. We see lots of players in that situation hold onto the ball too long or pass too early. And the nail goes into the heart of Grant Brebner. Manaman was close today. He has impressed as one of the recruits. Not a field. Perhaps something late here for victory. To liven up this last few minutes. It bounces off the crossbar. Margush was turning around and just hoping. He got his wish. As we said, in 27-18 when they won the championship. Four points from their first six games. victory. The stuttering start 
to this A-League season continues, but Wanderers are certainly going in the right direction. Another win. Their undefeated run goes to six games. A night, another night of regret for victory, not for Western Sydney. They get all three points at home. Western Sydney, two. Melbourne victory, nil.